everybody doing today? How you doing? I don't know if I want to do a reaction video to my latest video. Cause you know that's what I'm going to do. I'm going back through all these other videos and clarify some things before um, shit goes down. So, yeah. I've been having a headache right here. Right here in the back of my head. It's the right hand side of the head. Oh. Hard enough to make you want to close your eye. That's how bad this hurts right here. Badly. Very, very badly. It's been like that for about four days. Headaches, stress, and drama. But, I said something about Cuba and healthcare. And then, misspoke. Cuba does have international health care. I mean, international. Yeah. Might as well call it international health care from what I saw. Somebody told me on one of the comments that Cuba did have their own health care plan for all the people. And they train extra doctors and blah, blah, blah. So people can get, you know, call the doctor. Like back in the day, you call your doctor. Dr. Murdoch show up at the house and hook you up. So... After I made that comment, I was thinking, okay, do I go in and check and, you know, really go seriously hunt down health care and check it out? And I was flicking by the TV, and Sicko was on Showtime. I missed, like, the first hour or so. I saw the, the half end of the show, and there's one of those shows that say that you must see blah, 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 yakety, yakety, yakety. What hurt my feelings is this. Oh my god. I don't even have it for you. He must be in the living room. I was going to um show you my inhaler. There's one part where the lady needs an inhaler. And inhalers cost hundreds of dollars in her state. Now inhalers never cost me hundreds of dollars ever. If cost sixty and seventy dollars. 40 and 50 dollars but never a hundred twenty dollars for per inhalants but this lady had to have a certain a butyrol or whatever a different kind of whatever her inhaler was 120 dollars the same inhalers was five cents in cuba now um i can blame all the pharmaceutical companies i can even blame the doctors but what i'm going to blame is the american people I blame the American people for American people not having health care. It's what you call keeping up with the Joneses. We live in a country where competition is so fierce that people compete with having more or better than each other. Constantly. Constantly we want to have something better than the next person. I want to be the best you can be the best without having to say you're the best. You can have the best without flaunting the best. But what good would it be to be number one in everything you can do or say? And I see a scar from a couple of weeks ago. Got dizzy, fell down, bust my head. 40 years old, don't do what you used to do. You can't do what you used to do can't go out and party with the youngsters. You can't run like you used to. You can't climb like you used to. But you can always try to outdo somebody else like you used to. You used to have the, the best jump shot. You used to run the fastest. You used to have the baddest bike. Now you have to have the biggest house, the biggest car. You competing against one entity. And that's yourself. Now, I have a brother that's very addicted. He's addicted like no other. But his addiction is money. There's no problem with being addicted to money. What if money changes? What if the money that we all seek to have, what if 
a lot of people come into money, then those who have are completely irrelevant. If a lot of people gain money, then they will just change. Won't need money. Because there's always got to be somebody to have more and someone to have less. But what is illogical about that? Even though a man can be deemed equal with another man, or woman, kid, whatever, there's always someone who has to be more important, more special, more powerful, more controlling. Why? How come people can't live in a blanket equality? I want to have Sean Don here. I want to have Scar Go here. Who gives a fuck what you want? Here. I want a 59 inch color t here. Plasma LCD here. The only way people can truly be equal is if they have everything that everybody else has. But what would that do? Why? Why does somebody have to have the upper hand on somebody else? Why? Why does one group of people get to be healthy when the other group has to be sick? Why? What happens when the top has nobody's ass to kick and nobody to wipe their asses? What happens when the top is isolated and alone? It's one thing I learned about the human condition. People begin to feed on themselves. It's not just the ones at the bottom. It's not just the blacks and the Mexicans. Every single group of people on this planet feeds on itself like an internal cancer. If you see a sore and it's healed, why pick it open so it bleeds again? <coughs> and that's what we do as a species. We do it amongst ourselves. And now that the playing field is way more even than those may think it is, now it's done upon class lines. Now if you wiped out all the poor people, then the rich people would create poor people amongst the rich people. And I tell every terrorist out there in the world, I said it, in order to overthrow America, you must liberate the people. And what is the liberation these people need? If terrorists threw airplanes over America and dropped out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars into the poorest neighborhoods, it's cash on the streets. Stop using money. There is no winning. Those in power have the power for us not to even need money. But see, it's one thing about power that's corrupted, gets perverted and twisted. If I had all the power that these so-called rich families, I would say their names have, I would make every single person on the planet happy. How? Because by giving everyone everything that gives you a status bigger than money, you all strive to be godlike, but you put your feet on people while playing God and destroy the people. Nobody will worship your old ass corpses that are sitting in mausoleums because they remember the foot placed upon the neck of the people. But if the people were truly free, you would then live on earth as gods. But you're so stupid and power hungry, you'd rather kill everybody and begin to feed off yourselves. A healthy species of human being is only good because we are the workers of the planet we own this this is our garden the handful of people who choose to manage manage upon their own we never hired them until then we need to find a way to fire them